Welcome back to the Easy Med channel where medical topics are made easy. This video is going to show you a simple mnemonic to help you remember some of the main emergent causes of headaches. Headaches are a common chief complaint whether inpatient or outpatient. And some of these causes can be emergent and some are less urgent. You don't want to miss something bad and this mnemonic will help you remember some of those emergent causes. There will be a future Easy Med video on how to best approach the patient with a headache. So if you're not subscribed already, make sure you do so. That way you don't miss out on that video as well as other future videos that make medicine easy. So the mnemonic to remember here is headaches, which is simple and it's easy to remember. H stands for hemorrhage. This will help you remember things like subarachnoid hemorrhage and intracerebral hemorrhage. E stands for encephalitis and meningitis. Going along that infectious route, A stands for abscess. This will help you remember things like brain abscess or retropharyngeal abscess. D stands for dural venous sinus thrombosis. A is artery dissection. This could be a vertebral or basilar artery dissection, or you could even include carotid dissection in that. C stands for cancer or mass. This will help you remember those space-occupying lesions. H stands for hydrocephalus. E is elevated pressure to help you remember pseudotumor cerebri. And S stands for stroke or seizures. So if you take a look at this list, this is a good way to remember a lot of the intracranial emergencies that can lead to headaches. Well, there's also things outside the brain and skull that can lead to headaches as well. These are those extracranial causes. There's another simple mnemonic to remember here, and it uses the word headache again. And this will help you remember some of those extracranial causes. This will include herpes zoster, eye problems like glaucoma, arteritis, which will help you remember temporal arteritis or giant cell arteritis, depression, analgesia abuse or withdrawal, carbon monoxide poisoning, hypertensive emergency, and eclampsia preeclampsia. Hopefully this mnemonic gave you an easy way to remember some of the main emergent causes to headaches. If you found this video useful, make sure to hit the like button down below, and don't forget to subscribe before you go so you don't miss out on future videos. The Easy Med blog is also linked down below in the description, so feel free to take a look at that. Thanks for watching, and I hope you check out future videos.